good point about you know having the opinion of a coach or someone as a third person whether it's a coach or mentor someone else who's either been there and done that or can guide you through things outside of your normal way of thinking um, why why would you think that's important well let's look at some of the most successful people out there from different walks of life so you can look at recording artists you can look at um, sports stars, Olympians, you can look at even business people that are very successful. They all have management teams, they have advisors, they have coaches, mentors. And you think about, well, if it's good enough for them, why isn't it good enough for me? You know, what, what do they know that I don't? Well, well, the short answer is they don't know everything. No one knows everything. If, if I wanted to, let's say, get into gardening and horticulture and start you know, building an irrigation thing out the backyard, well, I wouldn't even know where to start. Now, I could spend hundreds of hours trying to figure this out, or I can talk to someone who's done it, learn from them, which will massive, my learning curve would go like this, but I'm, I'm, I'm learning or I'm talking to someone who's been there and done it. Or I could get an expert to come in and show me how to do it or, or do it for me. But either way, by leveraging someone else who's either got the experience, the knowledge, the wisdom, you save yourself a lot of uh, hassle, a lot of time, a lot of, you know, just wasted effort trying to figure it out and maybe going down the wrong path. Because I think we can learn from each other, Jeff, you know, and, and you, so it's a good point about the mentors and the coaches. I've got mentors and coaches. I know you have. Um, I'll be honest, I, I wouldn't know half the things I know today if it wasn't for that. Yeah, the example I always use is Usain Bolt. And yeah. you know, he's the fastest, he, at the time he was the fastest runner on the planet. So it's kind yeah. of like, well, we don't necessarily need someone who runs faster to be able to coach him. Yes. You just need an external set of eyes. And that's kind of what it was. He had a coach who could see things that he couldn't see while he was running. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's not even, I think, mentor is a great thing because they've been there and done it but a good coach might not have been there and done it but can just ask really great questions you yes. can unravel things as well so there's a couple of different ways to go the other thing is you just got to keep learning you know you've got to be i don't know reading books watching youtube whatever you've got to find a way to keep growing your knowledge i totally agree and just when you think you've gone past the the, the tip of the mountain <laughs> in your knowledge there's another mountain and there's another so you're right we keep on learning we keep on growing and that's the exciting part. Someone once said to me, um, Jeff, many years ago, getting into business will be the biggest personal development course you ever do. You know, the, the biggest self-help or development you ever do for yourself because you'll be challenged. You'll go through the ups and downs. You'll meet a whole bunch of interesting people. You'll make mistakes. You'll fail. You'll crash. You'll burn. But you'll, you'll <laughs> learn. Um, and, and I guess the if you didn't do it, I guess you'd be... You'd, you'd miss out on that, on all of those opportunities. So if you, if you're an exper experiential type of a person and you want to, you want more out of life or you want to discover who you really are or, or, or where your potential is and what are the limits to, to things you can achieve, mm -hmm. business is a great avenue to go down. People sometimes do sport because it pushes them. Uh, and in sport, you get the good and the bad, you get injuries, you get all sorts of stuff, but do you get the thrill of playing, right? So if you're going to get into business, enjoy it, you know, and, and take the good with the bad because you can't have good without bad. You can't have success without failure. And again, the more times you fail, it means you're getting closer to success. And don't look at failure as failure. It's just uh, another thing that you've overcome so that you can, you can enjoy uh, success down the track.